A lot of people were upset with my last video about child labor. I thought maybe if I changed the thumbnail to show how happy kids would be to have jobs, people would understand, but even after that, it seems people still haven't come around to the idea. I guess people really just hate happy children. But I've had a long time to think, and I've realized why everyone was so angry. To put it simply, if we bring back child labor to the United States, well then those kids are going to take everyone's jobs. Companies can hire them so cheaply that there's no work for the rest of us. It's so obvious why everyone is angry, now that I think about it. But I have a solution. No kids. That's right. Mandatory sterilization for all US citizens. If everyone is sterilized, they can't have kids. And no one has to be afraid of anyone taking their jobs. I mean, people spend so much money on birth control, and the government spends so much on Planned Parenthood. What if we just funnel that money into mandatory sterilization instead? Doctors would do it at birth, right after they circumcise you, so you wouldn't even notice. Or, here's an even better idea, we'll put birth control in the water. That way, no one will have kids, and you won't even have to think about it. And if you do want to have kids, you can get fertility pills from the government. Maybe we'll even have a little test to get your fertility pills, to make sure only the best citizens are allowed to reproduce. And there we have it. Overpopulation, unwanted kids, and abortion solved, all with one policy. Some people might call it eugenics, but I mean, whatever. I don't think it's eugenics. But I do love eugenics. That's why I'm pro-choice. Abortion has a bright future, actually. With more and more research being poured into mapping the human genome, before long, we'll know how to tell everything about a person based on their DNA. And we can take those DNA samples when the child is nothing more than a cluster of cells. That way we can decide even earlier if we want to abort the pregnancy for any number of reasons, and no one has to feel bad about killing a person. Of course, I'm just kidding. I don't think abortion is part of eugenics. I mean, what are we, Nazis? No, we'll call it planned birth. There we go. That sounds a lot nicer. You know, I wonder if autism would be on the list of undesirable traits. Especially now that kids born with autism is on the rise. People are trying to develop a cure for autism. Frankly, I can't wait to be cured. I want to be a cog just like everyone else. Actually, I just thought of something. With more and more autistic people being born, before long they'll make up a significant portion of the population. Some of the most influential people in human history were autistic or at least thought to be autistic due to their behavior, people like Nikola Tesla, Isaac Newton, and Albert Einstein. So if we really wanted to move forward as a species, instead of curing autism, we could cure the neurotypicals. Now it'll be great. All we'll have to do is round up all the neurotypicals and put them in little gated communities where they'll have all the birth control water they want. And don't get the wrong idea, we won't do anything violent. They can rejoin society if they work hard enough. Of course, that work will mostly involve memorizing facts about anime and Minecraft, which there will be extensive tests on. The only music they'll be allowed to listen to is remixes of the Undertale soundtrack, and we'll put little speakers everywhere so they can experience people laughing at them for everything they do and say, and they won't even know why. It'll be fun. As one of my all-time idols, Movie Bob, once said, There are days when my fondest wish is that eugenics hadn't been tainted as a science by racists and Nazis. Wow. Powerful stuff really makes you think. I've never really considered myself much of a eugenicist, but I guess I have always really identified with people like Thanos. And judging by some of the fan mail I've gotten, a lot of other people are firm believers in eugenics too. I'll be doing a podcast soon with one of my favorite eugenicists, The Right Opinion, so keep an eye out for that. I'm sure we'll have plenty to talk about. You know, I really wanted to thank everyone again for just showing me how wrong I was with my last video. I got a lot of comments and especially Twitter notifications. Generally, I found that the more filled with incoherent rage the tweets are, the more it really drives the point home. I've also found that memes are really effective at getting me to listen. I mean, why have any sort of argument when you can just post the same meme over and over? It's a practice that seems to have been adopted by people of just the highest order of intelligence. I really like this one. I wonder what's happening over in conservative furry YouTube. Well, you know me, just the staunchest of conservatives and a true lover of the furry community. You know, I really like you because you calls it as you sees it. I mean, some people don't do that. Some people find things that have nothing to do with partisan politics and try to use it as a way to bash their political opponents. Some people even say that politicizing everything warps people's perception of reality and is probably one of the main reasons for the massive political divide in the West. But you didn't do that, so good job. Ah, Paul. 
Paul is an ongoing social experiment by the Gorilla Foundation. What they've actually done is taken a brain-dead chimpanzee and given it a keyboard and access to Twitter. Sometimes the chimpanzee even types things that are almost coherent. Keep it up, little guy. I really do want to improve my content here on YouTube, so it would be a shame if I missed some of the exceptional comments that I'm sure lurk somewhere below. That's why I think everyone watching should go ahead and upvote the best comments you can find. That way we can all see them. Also, I've noticed that people typically don't watch past the two minute mark on my videos, meaning that they aren't going to see this part. If they watched more than two minutes, they would understand just how much I appreciate their advice. It sure would be a shame if people were to downvote any comment telling others to watch more than the first two minutes. That would just keep them ignorant and in the dark about everything. And that's no laughing matter. Well, as much as I like doing YouTube for a living, the site has determined me some kind of threat to society or something, and demonetize a lot of my videos. But if you want to support me and see more of my confirmed 200 IQ opinions, please consider Patreon. I use Patreon because they're evil. $5 will get you into my Discord where we can discuss even more amazing things. The Otherkin community seems to have migrated there, so it's mostly full of gay dragons, but that just makes it even more fun. Anyway, thanks for watching.